It's that time of year again, folks, that magical time of year when zucchini is everywhere. You start seeing piles of it at your local farmer's market. You start seeing piles of it at your grocery stores. And if you happen to grow your own like I do, you start getting so many, you get very overwhelmed. Well, in preparation for the zucchini onslaught, I'm gonna show you how to make the best keto zucchini bread. The first thing we need to do is grate our zucchini. You want about 12 ounces or one large zucchini. This is considered a large zucchini, which makes me laugh because what I pull off my plant is usually two to three times this size. However, 12 ounces or about 330 grams is exactly right for this recipe. To grate it, you have a couple of options. I like to just do it on a box grater by hand like this one, and you can see I've already done it and there's little bits of zucchini on it. Or you can do it in a food processor and use the shredding disc to get nicely grated zucchini. Then you want to place your zucchini in a sieve like this one, and you want to sprinkle it liberally with salt. You're looking for about a quarter teaspoon worth of salt and just sprinkle it over and then toss it to combine a little. And now we need to let that drain for about an hour. Now the zucchini I have here has actually already been draining for about an hour, so I'm going to squeeze it out and try to get out as much moisture as possible. I like to just do this right in the sieve with my hands, but you can wrap it up in a tea towel and squeeze it out that way too. And you really want to squeeze it until most of the moisture has been squeezed right out. And so you can see it packing together nicely. It's now only about a cup, cup and a half of grated zucchini. And you can see here just how much liquid I got out of it. And you just want to toss the liquid and set your zucchini aside. And now we can move on to whisking our dry ingredients together. So I have here two and a half cups of finely ground almond flour, and I'm gonna add my sweetener. Now you have a couple choices here. I am using Swerve Brown. You can use a granular sweetener, but I love how the brown gives it kind of a, a deeper, richer flavor. It tends to clump up together a little, so break it up. I like to break it up with my fingers a bit before I whisk it in. Okay, next I'm going to add one third cup of protein powder. I'm using whey protein powder here and it's unflavored. You can use egg white powder, you can use pea protein, there's a lot of different options. The one thing that doesn't work very well in this recipe is collagen protein. It makes things very gummy and hard to cook through. And then we're gonna add two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Keto baked goods take a little more encouragement to rise, so this should be about right to get it to rise nicely. And then we're gonna add a little cinnamon, about one teaspoon. And we'll add a little additional salt, but not too much because our zucchini was already salted. So another quarter teaspoon or so. And we'll whisk those all up together. Okay, we're ready to add our wet ingredients. So I have three large eggs. And I have half a cup of melted butter. And I'm going to add my zucchini in now. Along with one teaspoon of vanilla extract. We'll break up our zucchini and our eggs and just whisk everything in nicely. Okay, our batter is looking really great at this point. We still wanna add a little more liquid. How much liquid you add actually depends on how well you manage to squeeze out your zucchini or how much zucchini you used. So you just wanna add a little water and stir it in until you have a good batter consistency. It should still be pretty thick, but it should be pourable. And this is looking perfect to me, thick, but scoopable and pourable. At this point, you can leave your batter as it is, or you can add in some extra keto deliciousness. You could add chopped pecans or chopped walnuts. You could stir in some shredded coconut, but today I'm gonna to do the kid-friendly thing and stir in some keto chocolate chips. So I have here one third cup of chocolate chips, and I'm just gonna sprinkle those in and I always like to save a few for the top of the bread. It just makes it more visually appealing. And we'll stir those in until it's well distributed. Now let's talk about our baking pan. I have here a loaf pan that's eight by four. I like this size because it kind of forces the bread to rise up more rather than spread out. You can use a nine by five pan, but your bread will bake through a little faster. We wanna grease our pan nicely, so I have some melted butter here. And to help it release extra well, I am going to also use a little avocado oil spray. And now we can just put our batter in the pan. 
And as I said, I like to save a few chocolate chips for the top for the visual appeal. And our keto zucchini bread is ready for the oven. I'm putting it in at 350 for anywhere between 50 to 65 minutes. It should be nicely risen, firm to the touch, and a beautiful golden brown. Okay, zucchini lovers, we are back. The keto zucchini bread is out of the oven. It's a gorgeous golden brown, and I have let it cool for about half an hour. You need to let it cool for a while because it'll hold together better before you flip it out of the pan. But I think we should be good. It looks like it's come away from the sides a little, which is perfect. I'm just gonna gently loosen it with a knife just to make sure we can get it out all in one piece. And let's see how we do. Just very gently flip it over, shake the pan a little, ta-da! It came out perfectly. It smells so good. Uh, it's still a little warm, but we are going to cut into it anyway so you can see what it looks like. Oh, that chocolate smells so good too. Oh, oh, would you look at that? It's so perfect. Look at this, beautiful. A delicious piece of keto zucchini bread. So let's take a little taste. I already know it's good. I hardly need to try it. Mm. Mm. You get the cinnamon, you get the chocolate. It's so delicious. What a great healthy way to use up some of the zucchini you're gonna see this summer. For this delicious keto zucchini recipe and so many more, please check out alldayidreamaboutfood.com.